Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we are gonna talk a little bit about Roses V Trigger 2. Now I'm currently working on a complete rose guide, it should be out in the next couple of days, but I felt like I wanted to address V Trigger 2 right now. There are so many tech videos now for this thing, you will see so many don't jump on rows, oh like chip setup, whatever. And it's getting a little bit out of hand, I feel it's getting a little bit too complicated for the common person who just want to pick up the character, learn a couple of basic stuff and get the ball rolling. And that's what we are here for today. I'm gonna tell you a couple of basic combos, a couple of basic resets and a couple of basic anti-air conversions that you can use with this V-Trigger to get the most value out of it. Now first let's start to talk about the basic combos and I'm gonna start first addressing the basic starters and they are gonna be the standing heavy punch and crouching medium kick, right? These are gonna be the basic moves that you're gonna use to activate into V-Trigger 2 from and when you do standing heavy punch V-Trigger activate you are plus 19 this means that you can combo a back heavy kick or you can combo a slide, right? And typically you're gonna do one or the other. Let me now show you like a basic combo out of the standing heavy bunch shoot, right? We're gonna do into back heavy kick, standing heavy bunch. Right? I know this one might look complicated, but trust me, it's really simple. After the back heavy kick, you do standing heavy kick into heavy punch fireball, crouching heavy punch into heavy punch fireball, slide into the target combo, and pick the enders that you want. I will be leaving a link to the, or I'll be leaving the notations to these combos in the description below so you don't get too confused with them. But trust me, practice the simple combo to at least make sure that you're getting value out of it. Now let's take a look at the other combo route that is the crouching medium kick. You're plus 13 on this activation. This means that you don't get a back heavy kick and a forward heavy kick will whiff on a crouching opponent, right? So out of a crouching medium kick V trigger activate, my recommendation would obviously to be a slide, right? You're gonna go for a slide and now let me show you like a basic combo route out of this one. Right? This is again a very basic and very simple Combo route. Again, we'll be leaving the notations to the combo in the description. Obviously, if you are starting a combo from a crouching medium kick, the scaling is gonna be pretty rough. So out of crouching medium kick, I would recommend actually going for resets at this point, and I will be talking about the resets in the next section. So let's now talk about the reset element of this V-Trigger, and typically the reset is gonna happen once the V trigger timer runs out. As long as the timer is ticked down, the opponent is gonna be in a juggle state. So notice all of these kicks will keep Ryu in a juggle state. The second the timer run out, he is gonna get air reset. And you wanna air reset your opponent in situations where it is kinda ambiguous. You wanna create like an ambiguous right left mix up or a throw bait or throw situation, right? And now let us see actually a couple of pretty simple and effective resets. One that is actually kind of really really ambiguous. It is kind of difficult. It will require a lot of practice. I am still working on it myself. Is the one that I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, and it can be done from the standing heavy punch or the crouching medium kick route. Like you can get into the situation from either, right? Right? This time we remained in the front. Next time... We got to the back. This setup is actually super ambiguous. Super ambiguous. It can be very hard for your opponent to see which side you are gonna land in, right? And I, you could even not have realized which one you yourself landed on because it all depends on the timing on your standing jab to reset and the timing on the jumping medium punch. After some mastery, you will be able to control it. So this is a setup that is very ambiguous, 
very it's, it is kind of hard to do it does require some timing but it is very very ambiguous and it's very powerful from my experience now another setup i found that is actually really cute is again the combo root from the crouching medium kick we just showed earlier you can do it and again of course then slide do the same combo you did earlier jab and then cross under and if you delay the jab you will remain in the front so if you do the same thing again right you're gonna remain in the front this one is not as ambiguous as the other one but it's a lot easier either way i would recommend practicing on these at least practice on the easy one get the hang of it control how you can cross up or not then maybe move to this the more difficult one which is a lot more ambiguous etc 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 keep it basic these are two basic setups practice them get the hang of them and then you can move on to a more advanced setups now let's actually take a look now at a couple of the anti-air options and anti-air combos that you can get with this v-trigger so let's now take a look at the anti-air aspect of this V-Trigger and this I feel is more important than the grounded combos or the grounded resets because this is the guaranteed damage, right? You're getting guaranteed unscaled full V-Trigger 2 combo damage which is fantastic. The basic premise is very simple, your opponent is gonna jump at you, let's here say you is gonna jump, you're gonna activate V-Trigger and then you're gonna anti-air with either Crouching Heavy Punch or the EX Dragon Punch or the EX Soul Bind, right? It's gonna be one of these two. And you can make this as easy or as hard for yourself as you can. Now let's take a look at an easy option, right? An easy combo. Activate, V Trigger, 1, 2, 3, and into Heavy Punch DB. If you notice, this was 380 damage for a very easy combo this is very very easy and we got 380 damage and look we almost built half of our bar back so that is fantastic you can dump even more damage into this and still keep it simple heavy kick into db heavy kick into db and bam medium spiral again this one is very simple 450 damage which is still a lot Obviously, you spend three bars on it, so it's a lot more costly, but again, very easy to do and very high damage output. Now, you can make it a little bit more challenging onto yourself. Let's check out a combo like that one. Right? This one is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more timing required, but you got 445 damage for one bar, and we got even more bar out of it. So this one again is really really cool. Now you can go for a meterless route. Now it is a little bit difficult but it is possible. What you want to do is something like this. This one is going to be a lot trickier than the other ones. Right and then you combo into super. This one is a little bit harder and a little bit trickier because you have to factor in the activation time and the fact that uh, Crouching Heavy Bunch of course is a normal, like you're not anti-airing with anything with invincibility so you have to react to the jump really early and time the Crouching Heavy Bunch really well but it is a very good option. As you can see 580 damage from an anti-air, that is no joke. In my opinion, these are some of the basic combos, setups, and anti-airs that you can do with this V-Trigger to get value out of. Keep it simple, start with one or two of each, master them before trying to move on to the others. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord server in the description below. I will also be leaving a link or I'll be leaving all the notation to all of the combos and resets again in the description. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.